What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient automatic Minecraft Bedrock cow farm. It works on 1.16 and on all other versions of Minecraft Bedrock, whether you play on a phone, tablet, Xbox, PS4, Nintendo Switch, or PC. As you guys can see here, this farm will give you a ton of leather and cooked beef. For this farm, all you'll need is two chests, one hopper, one dispenser, one lava bucket, 13 slabs. By the way, you guys can use any type of slab that you want, except for slabs that burn. Two signs, one observer, one wooden button, 14 glass blocks, two glass panes, two ladders, two water buckets, and finally, 18 solid blocks. By the way, you guys can use any type of solid blocks you want, except for solid blocks that burn. The first step is to break two blocks. Now turn over this way and place down a double chest. Then crouch down and place your hopper at the spot. Make sure that hopper funnels towards the double chest. You guys can tell the hopper is flying towards the double chest because the nozzle of it should be pointing towards the chest. That hopper will collect all the items generated in this farm and funnel it into the collections chest. The next step is to crouch down and place a solid block over here. Then come to the back of the farm. Now place two over here and two more on top. Now place two blocks over here. Then turn this direction and place down an observer. Make sure the top area of this observer faces this way. After placing that observer, come back over to the front of the farm, then place a dispenser at the spot. Make sure this dispenser faces this way. That dispenser will dispense lava in this farm so the cows will automatically be cooked and killed. The next step is to place a block over here, then place a glass block at this spot, now place a slab below the glass block. The next step is to break these two blocks, then place two blocks over here. Once you have completed that step, come over here and place a wood button at the side of this observer. The reason why you need to place a wood button is because that will make sure the lava is dispensed for the correct amount of time so the cows will all be killed. Now open this dispenser, then place a lava block inside of it. Once you have done that, place a sign over here. That sign will prevent lava from flowing down to the hopper. As you guys can see here, whenever this button is pushed, lava will be dispensed, then sucked up. The next step is to place a glass block at the spot. Now place two blocks over here and two blocks over here. Then come to the back of the farm. Now crouch down and place two blocks at this spot. Now place two on this side, two on this side, and one over here. Once you guys are done with that step, I recommend you guys create an infinite water source. To do this, come to one side of your farm, then place two blocks over here, two over here, two over here, and two over here. After placing those blocks, place two water buckets over here. That should create an infinite water source so you guys can use two buckets to fill in all the water for this entire farm. The next step is to come back up here, then place a sign at the spot. That sign will prevent water from flowing down into this bottom kill chamber. Then place a water bucket over here. As you guys can see there, that water should flow from here over to that bottom chamber. The next step is to temporarily place a block at this spot. Now place a slab over here. Then break this block. Then place two slabs over here, one over here, and two over here. By placing those slabs, you will prevent glass panes from sticking to the sides of our farm. Once you have placed slabs in that formation, place two glass panes over here. As you guys can see there, the glass panes will not connect to the walls. The reason why you place those glass panes is because it will allow us to separate the adult cows from the baby cows. Whenever baby cows are created, they will drop down into the bottom kill chamber. The next step is to place a glass block on top of each of these slabs. Then place another layer of glass blocks on top. By placing those glass blocks, we will be able to enclose cows in this top chamber while also still being able to see them. The next step is to place a water bucket over here and a water bucket over here. It's really important that you guys place the water above, not inside the glass panes. As you guys can see there, my water is above the glass panes. By placing that water, we will help baby cows fall down into the kill chamber. Once you are done placing your water, place a slab on top of each of these glass blocks. At this point, you guys are done placing all the water so you can fill in and break your infinite water source. The next step is to come down here. Now place two ladders at the spot. By placing those two ladders, you'll be able to easily access this spot over here, so you can easily breed cows in this farm. The final step is to lure at least two cows up into the top chamber of this farm. By the way, the more cows you have in this top chamber, the more efficient this farm will be. I'm now going to show you all how you guys can easily lure cows into this chamber in survival. To do that, first place a block on top of each of these slabs. Then place a trapdoor at the spot, you guys can use any type of trapdoor that you want. Now open it. Cows see trapdoors as full blocks, so by placing that trapdoor, we will be able to easily lure a cow into this top chamber. The next step is to place four blocks over here. One, two, three, four. Now place two blocks over here, and two blocks over here. By placing those blocks, we will ensure that the cow goes straight into the chamber instead of walking around the sides. The next step is to come to the back of the farm. 
Now I'll create a little staircase that leads all the way down to the ground. By placing that staircase, you will be able to easily access that top chamber. After setting up that system, try to find a couple cows. Whenever you guys find cows, hold some wheat. As you guys can see here, that should cause the cows to become attracted to you. Once you have the cows following you, walk up the staircase up into the top part of your farm. As you walk up, make sure the cows are following you. Once you get to this point, jump over here. Then, crouch down and come all the way to the end of this little path. As you guys can see there, that should cause the cows to go into this top chamber. At this point, if you guys want to lure some more cows up into the top chamber of this farm, you guys can do that. By the way, one easy way you guys can get a bunch more cows for this farm is by pushing some cows into a hole, then breeding them. After about 5 minutes, you'll be able to breed the cows again to get more cows. Once you guys have the amount of cows you want, you can break a couple blocks, then lure them up to your farm. After you guys have the amount of cows you want in this top chamber, you guys can break all the blocks that you placed in order to lure cows into the chamber. I am now going to do a quick fly round so you guys can check and make sure you made this farm correctly. Down here, you guys should have your hopper and collection's chest. Over there, you guys should have your dispenser. Up here, you guys should have your water transport system. At the top, you guys should have this upper cow chamber. This side should be going like this. The back should be going like this. Finally, this side should be going like this. How this farm works is, whenever you climb this ladder and come to this spot, you can breed your cows. Whenever you guys breed the cows, you guys will get some XP, and a baby cow will either fall directly into the bottom chamber, or get pushed by the water into the chamber. At that point, you guys can either wait for the baby cows to grow up, or you can feed them with wheat to make them grow faster. Once the baby cows have grown into adults, you guys can hit this button. That will cause lava to be dispensed and sucked up. That lava will cause your cows to automatically be cooked and killed. All their drops will then be collected by the hopper and funneled into the collection's chest. By the way, it's okay if you guys dispense lava before all of the baby cows have grown into adults, because baby cows will not be affected by the lava. I am now going to show you all how to use this farm. To use it, come up here, then breed the cows using wheat. As you guys can see there, you get XP, and baby cows will drop down into this bottom chamber. Once you guys have some baby cows in this bottom chamber, you guys can either wait for them to grow up naturally, or you can feed them some wheat to speed up the growth process. After your baby cows have grown into adult cows, hit this button. As you guys can see there, that will cause the lava to be dispensed and sucked up. The cows will then catch on fire and burn. As you guys can see here, all the drops will get funneled into this collection's chest. As you guys can see there, it's okay if lava is dispensed before all of the baby cows have grown into adults because baby cows will not be affected by lava. That is because they are too short to touch it. By the way, if you guys want to get more drops at a time from this farm, you guys can kill the cows with a sword that is enchanted with Looting 3 and Fire Aspect 2. Looting will give you guys a chance to get more drops at a time, while Fire Aspect 2 will ensure that all of the killed cows will be cooked. Whenever you guys want to get some more cows into this bottom chamber, just come over here, then feed these cows on top. By the way, if you guys aren't able to feed your cows, make sure that you have waited at least 5 minutes since you have bred them before. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient automatic Minecraft Bedrock cow farm. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for what I should do in future videos. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. I upload every the day. Thanks for watching!